What's up everybody? It's been a while and I know I've been promising this video for a long, long, long ass time. But here it is. That's right. The top 10 Hot Toys figures I personally love. Okay, this is how this list is going to go. If I lost everything, these are the top 10 Hot Toys I would definitely have to keep. If I was to sell my whole collection and I could only keep 10 figures, these are the 10 that I'm going to keep. So that's how we're going to do this list. And we're going to start at number 10. Okay, so at number 10, at the bottom of the list is Captain America Endgame. This release right here. Oh my God, this is the best Captain America to date. That Chris Heaven's head sculpt is the best top tier. One of the best head sculpts, in my personal opinion, really looks like the guy. The chain mill that's up under that is exposed underneath the chest plate, which harken backs to which harken backs to the comic book, looks amazing as well. The costume is just great. The coloring is right. The articulation is okay, but you know it works for a Captain America figure. I think it's amazing all the way through, and that's why it is on this list at number ten. At number nine. We have, that's right, another in-game figure, Iron Patriot. I love this figure. I think this figure looks great. Yeah, it does look a little bit like Optimus Prime. Let's let's face it, it does. <laughs> it does have an Optimus Prime feel to it. But man, what you get out this figure is great. It's just a big honking piece of die cast. And it just looks good. You get the cannons, you get swap out parts. You can do so many different poses with this guy. And when you add that rocket to him and put him right next to the shoulder, you just recreate that scene from Endgame. It's just iconic and just amazing. That Don Cheadle head sculpt right there, oh my God, it is amazing. Really looks like Don Cheadle. I mean, and we get a full head sculpt. Not that, you know, not the one that they had with him with his face, you know, in, you know, pushed all in the helmet and everything like that. No, you get a full head sculpt. Looks good. Looks like Don Cheadle. The, I mean, just the, just the likeness is just amazing. One of the best head sculpts Hot Toys produced to this day, might I add. Okay, at number eight. Yeah, I kind of cheated a little bit. Battle Damage, Robocop, and Alex Murphy, the two-pack. Yes, I know it's kind of two figures, but hey, it's a set, you know? I bought it as one as a set, so therefore, it's a set. They gotta go together, sorry. First of all, I love Battle Damage figures. They just look great. The paint application is amazing and all that. I mean, just look at the, like, the, the oil spills, the blood, the robotics, the, the, the scarring. All of it just looks so realistic. And that head sculpt of Peter Weller is mwah, chef's kiss. It's amazing. It looks exactly the way it looked in the movie. You know who this is when you go in your collection room. And this was kind of early for Hot Toys. I believe this is 2015 and it looks amazing. Now talking about the Alex Murphy figure. Oh, come on. The Alex Murphy figure is spot on. A 10. Great the articulation on it is great. The padding on the police suit is great. That bulletproof vest that just got shot all up in the movie and scarred me for life. Yeah, I saw that in the movie at seven years old. Yeah, my mom is still kicking herself for that. She did not expect that scene and yeah, scarred me for life kind of. But hey, at least I know it and it is my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies, but this figure is great. The head sculpt of Peter Weller, once again, spot, spot on. You could swap it out, put the helmet on or have his head fully exposed. It is a great piece. If you don't own this figure, you're really missing out. It's a real great figure. It is a grail. It is a total grail piece. But yeah, I know I kind of cheated, but I counted them as one, but yes, they are definitely staying in the collection if I had to sell everything. They're staying, definitely. Great piece, you gotta get it. And I can't say enough great things about it. Okay, at number seven, we got Black Panther from the Black Panther movie. The figure itself, 
I think is great. The bodysuit, very poseable. You could do a lot of articulation with it and it's very forgiving. It, do, it doesn't, it does crease, but the crease is fall, like it's like they heal right back in place. You could put this thing in a lot of good poses and don't have to worry about getting all those uh, wrinkles and everything and the uh, figure and you gotta iron it out with a blow dryer and all that. No, this thing just goes right back to form and it is great. Let's not forget to mention the whole vibranium lighting effect that you get with it. Yes, it's cardboard, it's cheap, but it does the damn thing. And when you see it all lit up with the vibrating, the little blue purple hues going through it, it is amazing. At number six, we got Yondu from the Guardians of the Galaxy line. Figure was recently on Good Morning Grails, and when I pulled it out and started posing it for that segment, man, I fell all in love with it all over again. That figure is amazing. I do believe that that is the best, and I say the best, head sculpt ever produced by Hot Toys. They really captured the likeness of Michael Rucker. Really did. Looks great. You get you get swap out uh, mohawk pieces. You get the smaller one. You get the larger one that he had in the second film. You get the effects with the little uh, arrow that he shoots out. Looks great. And the tailoring. Oh my God. The tailoring on this figure is amazing. You get the long coat. You get all the undercoats and the shirts and everything. Just is an amazing figure. It is sure to stand out on anybody's shelf if you own it. For all you guys that do own it, you know what I'm talking about. The figure has a lot of presence. Okay guys, here we are at number five. That's right, we're in the top five right now. And at number five, we have, that's right, DX-13 Terminator 2, the T-800 Battle Damage. This figure right here is probably Hot Toys' best figure overall. Love this thing, you get the light up eye effect, you get the battle damage head sculpt, you get the slightly damaged head sculpt, it has eye rolling system, it's a DX. You would get pretty much a second figure, which is practically a statue of the T-800 doing the whole liquid metal effect. You can get them in so many different poses, the leather jacket, the tailoring, amazing once again battle damage i love battle damage figures and they just did this one very well coming in at number four you guessed it i had to put an iron man on here and to me this is the best iron man figure that's out there it is iron man mark 7 die cast this thing is simply amazing the battle damage pieces on it look amazing the fact that you can transform it to the uh, to the Mark 7 pod that changes in the film to the full suit is amazing. Now, I don't know people that did, not too many people did that, but it is a good thing to have. But overall, this suit is just one of my favorite Iron Man designs. You gotta have this in your collection. It was from the iconic Avengers film, people. So you definitely need this one in your collection. If I was to get rid of all my Iron Man, all of them, this is the one that would stay. That's right, the Mark 7, the rocket suit, the swap outs, just looks simple on Simple, simply, simply amazing. And just is a great piece and you gotta have it in your collection. Okay, we getting close guys. Number three, number three. I cheated again, I don't care. This is, this is my video, I can do what I want, right? That's right, the Chewbacca and Han from a New Hope box set. That's right, another two pack is made the list. You can't have Han without Chewie, you can't have Chewie without Han. So this, I mean, come on, these guys are amazing. That Han Solo figure, to my, in my opinion, still hold up to this date. The costume, the tailoring is just spot on. Even the joints on this figure were always tight. Well, in mine, they were very tight and just looked really good. The head sculpt, to me, looks like a real young Harrison Ford. And let's be honest, we only got like three Hans. So if you can get a Han Solo figure, you grab that song, bitch, because who knows when Harrison Ford is gonna, you know, release his likeness and give us an, and have Hot Toys to give us another one. And the Chewbacca, yes, I know some people are gonna say the Chewbacca head sculpt could have been better, but with a little futzing and if you comb it just right, it looks great. And let's face it, we don't we don't have that many Wookiees either. We only got two Chewbacca's, so. And the second one is, ugh. But this one is definitely the better one, and it just looks great. And as a box set, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. So you gotta have them. So that's why they're on this list at number three. One of my 
favorite items in my collection and I just love having them in the Jazz Inc. cockpit. Just an awesome display. So yes, they're at number three and they are simply amazing. Okay, we are getting close people. Number two, the number two figure that I love the most is, that's right, the 1989 Joker, Jack Nicholson. Let me tell you guys, this one wasn't even hard. I love Michael Keaton and I love the Keaton Batman look. I love that figure, but here it is. I know I will be able to get that figure again in different, and it's a lot of different, and, and that figure of Batman, it's not the best figure, it's a great figure, but it's not the best Batman figure we've gotten. We've gotten a lot of good Batman figures over the years, but come on, this Joker figure is just kicked up another notch. It looks great. You get the likeness of Jack Nicholson. You get the rolling eyeballs. It's damn right creepy. And the tailoring of the suit is just on point. The colors and everything pop. You get two coats. You get the long barrel handgun. You get a bunch of, uh, you get a bunch of smiley faces. You get the money. You get the cane. Come on. This, this thing is loaded with accessories and just a great representation of the 1989 Joker played by Jack Nicholson. Rumor has it, Jack Nicholson is still getting that paper from this movie. Still getting it. I mean, who knows? And I heard also that the likeness rights are so high, are so high to obtain Jack Nicholson's likeness rights, Hot Toys may never do this figure again because it costs so much to obtain those likeness rights. So you got to get it. I'm also thinking about getting the Mime Joker as well, just because of that. But I think this one definitely is the best. You get the green and the purple outfit. You get the old man <laughs> slacks that goes with him. He's just an amazing piece, man. And that's why he is number two on this list. Okay, guys, here we are at number one. Number one, numero uno. What is gonna be number one? Now, I know a lot of y'all may have thought that, oh, he's just gonna do figures. No, check the title of the video. It's the top 10 hot toys I love. So yes, this at number one is gonna be a vehicle. And what vehicle is it? Come on, y'all know what it is. That's right, the Hot Toys DeLorean. The original DeLorean. This piece right here almost cost me my relationship and my marriage. <laughs> but yes, this piece right here, oh my God. Love this light, love the lighting effects on it. Just looks great. The detailing of it is just stupendous, especially the back portions with the plutonium chamber and everything. Just looks great. You get the gold wing doors to go up on ratchets. Amazing. The headlights, everything. The tires looks good. The tires, you know, would've been nice to have, uh, have the Goodyear on the tires, but you know, with some decals, you can make that work. Um, guess they didn't do that because of licensing. But man, this thing looks amazing. As I said, the lighting effects are great. The only thing I wish the time circuits lit up, you know, but I don't think we're gonna, we, you know, we didn't get that from this version, but I do think in the new version, the 2.0 from Back to the Future 2, the hover conversion, we will be getting those time circuits lit up. So that's gonna be great. But for what this piece is, it's amazing. I love the original, as you guys know, it's right behind me, right there, right, right there, right there. But I love it. I think it's a great piece. And it's one of those pieces that I can't live without. Even if I didn't have the Marty and Doc figures, I would still want the DeLorean because I love it that much as a piece of its own. I could just display it on its own, <sighs> which is why it is number one on this list. The Back to the Future DeLorean. So guys, that's been my list. That is the top 10 hot toys I love. What do you guys love? I mean, do you agree with me? Do you, do you think I'm missing something? I think I hit a lot of good ones, but I know it's a lot of other good figures out there. But guys, let me know, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, and we are out.